know that you don't know some of the concepts here okay so because you at the same time you will you join little bit late i we completed all basic basic terms and at all hmm? yes sir okay now you are telling that you are the 12th standard na yes sir okay so 12th standard is completed now you are going to complete the 12th standard uh completed sir completed repeater's batch yes sir repeater's batch okay 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 so you are preparing for ge ah uh, no sir m set m set okay Anishka Samhita. Right. So good evening all. So let's, I will start with the new concept. In last class we discussed about the reaction intermediates. So what are the reaction intermediates? Means in a chemical reaction, during the chemical reaction, some fragments are they form to complete the reaction. The fragments only we can call it as a reaction intermediates. We have a different types of the reaction intermediates. What are the different types of the reaction intermediates we had seen? Free radicals, carbocations, carbene ions, carbenes. Okay, so we complete that to carbenes. And remaining, we have a two more. It is there. What are the two more reaction intermediates we are having means here? One is nitrines. Another one is here benzene. Okay, so here first one is nitrines. First, we'll discuss about the nitrines. So we'll discuss about the nitrine. So, which we can call as a nitrines means in a compound, if the nitrogen is containing in a compound here, if the nitrogen is containing two lone pair of electrons okay two lone pair of electrons r bond n r bond n here also one lone pair 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 okay so here the compound on nitrogen in a compound the nitrogen atom is containing two lone pair of electrons with that we can call as a nitrines so that is also non bonded here lone pair of electrons also we can call as here non bonded electrons non bonded okay non bonded electron pairs non bonded electron pairs so how many non bonded electron pairs it has to be that means If two non-bonded electron pairs are there on nitrogen atom, is that we can call as a nitrines. Okay, nitrines are obtained from thermolysis of nitrines are nitrines are obtained from obtained from thermolysis of thermolysis sir what is to be the thermolysis means here thermal decomposition thermolysis of azo compounds thermolysis of azo compounds thermolysis of azo compounds so what is the best example for that one means r bond sorry azoxen so which one means here azoxen so nitrines are obtained from the thermolysis of azoxen So the azide here. So the azo it is. Azides. So what is the example? Means R bond N three. R bond N three. So this is also we can write as R bond. Okay, what? This also we can write as here R bond N 
double bond n double bond n we can write here we get as a positive charge that it is having lone pair of electrons here also we have a lone pair of electrons okay so when this pi electrons are shifted already this nitrogen also it is having one lone pair of electrons so when these pi electrons are shifted on this nitrogen atom and when this okay here right now when this the electrons are shifted in this direction whenever the electrons are shifted in this direction means first of all it is converted into r bond n bond r bond n bond n triple bond and it is forming here okay n triple bond and it is going to be formed it will get as a positive charge so why we get as a positive charge means because it has the electron deficiency again it undergoes to the cleavage reaction how it undergoes the cleavage reaction is by taking up the two electrons by taking up the two electrons means it's converted into nitrogen and it releases the nitrogen gas it is converted into the nitrogen nitrogens are having two non bonded electrons so nitrogens are having here two non bonded pair of electrons plus nitrogen okay so this we can call as a nitrogen so how the nitrogens are obtained means here nitrogens are obtained by the thermolysis of the azides okay and again like carbon we have two types of the nitrogens so what are the two types of the nitrogens means singlet nitrogen and triplet nitrogen okay again so nitrogens are classified into two types so one is called as a singlet another one is triplet nitrogen okay so already we know what is meant by the singlet and what is meant by the triplet okay and in this one samhita what is meant by the singlet samhita singlet what is meant by the singlet One second, sir. Yeah. Sir, no lone pairs are present, sir. I mean. So lone pair of electrons are present in the same orbital. Empty p orbital, sir. If the lone pair of electrons are present in the same orbital, mean that we can call as a single. Okay, if the lone pair of electrons are present in two different orbitals, means that we can call as a triplet. Okay, so like the carbenes, nitrogens also we are having two types. One of the two types of the nitrogens we are having is one is the singlet nitrogen, and another one also we can call as a triplet. Now you got the clarity, all of you. Then we we'll go for the benzene. We we'll go for benzene. What is the next reaction? Reaction intermediate. Okay. So what is the next one means here? Next one is nothing but benzene. Benzene. So this is the last reaction intermediate. Okay, sir. What is meant by the benzene and which we can call as a benzene means here, sir. Benzene. If at one place, if it is having triple bond, means that we can call as a benzene. Okay, so benzene, which we can call as a triple bond, benzene means here. So C six H four is called as a benzene. Okay, C six H four. So this we can call as a benzene. Sir, what is the molecular formula of the benzene? Means here C six H four. C six H four is called as a benzene. Okay, so benzene is the reaction intermediate. Benzenes are reaction intermediates. So how the benzenes are obtaining means by the elimination reaction. So which elimination reaction means if alloenes, that means chlorobenzene, it is there. For example, this we can call as a Cl. Okay, this we can call as a chlorobenzene. This we can call as here chlorobenzene. So when the chlorobenzene is treated with soda, my soda my molecular formula is NaNH2. In this one, soda my is attacked as a dehydrohalogenating agent. 
ஒன்ஜாயின் okay so here also double bond here double bond here okay so this we can call as a benzene sir what are the by products it is forming means it forms as a nacl plus nh3 is going to be formed okay so benzene also we can call as a reaction intermediate sir from where we can get as a benzene means here when the halo ends are it undergoes to the elimination reaction it forms as a benzene so benzene is highly unstable okay highly unstable to attain the stability again it is reacts with the another molecule now you got the clarity all of you still anyone you having doubt until here aditi samhita tanish no, so all of you okay so now you got the clarity na so then so we'll go for the one more important concept ma here so we can see so this is about the reaction intermediates then we go for the next new concept so what is the next new concept we are going to be discuss means here electron displacement reactions electron displacement reactions sir based on the electron displacement reactions based on the electron displacement reactions okay so they are asking the questions in the neat level and ge level and mset level also over here okay they are asking the questions in mset level and ge level also so which type of question they are asking is application oriented question they are asking okay every year every time they are asking okay so what is mean by the electron displacement the next concept is electron displacement so this concept is very very important concept if you understand this one means so what are the chapters are there in a 12th standard so organic chemistry is there in 12th standard if you see so what are the chapters we are going to study under the 12th standard which one is we are going to study about the halo alkanes halo arenes okay and uh, alcohols phenols ethers also it is there aldehydes ketones carboxylic acids also it is there amines chapter also it is there so in the chapters acidity of the alcohols and acidity of the carboxylic acids basicity of the amines and it all we are going to explain based on electron displacement reaction so me so first of all what is mean by the electron displacement reaction what is mean the electron displacement reaction means if you take any molecule if you take any molecule any organic molecule if you have taken so based on the attacking reagent based on the attacking reagent the electrons are shifted either the side ma okay electrons are shifted either the side so which electrons are shifted either the side means either sigma electrons or pi electron so what is meant by the sigma electrons okay which we can call as a sigma electrons aditi so which we can call as a sigma electrons aditi the ones which are there in sigma bond the electrons which are involved in the formation of the sigma bond is called as a sigma electrons some of the which we can call as a pi electrons the ones which are in the help in the formation of pi bonds double pi bonds bond. or triple double bond or triple bond okay so very good samita the electrons which are involved in the formation of the pi bond is called as a pi electron the electrons which are involved in the formation of the sigma bond is called as a sigma electron okay now we have a different types of the electron sigma electrons are there pi electrons are there so based on the attacking reagent when the attacking reagent is approaches to the substrate molecule so sigma electrons or pi electrons are shifted either the direction 
okay so that directions only we can call as here electron displacement okay so we have four different types of the electron displacement reactions are there how many types of the displacement reactions are there we have four types of the electron displacement reactions okay in that one first one is called as a inductive effect inductive effect second one is mesomeric effect Second one is mesomeric effect, and third one is hyper conjugation. Third one is hyper conjugation, hyper conjugation, and fourth one is electromeric effect. Fourth one is electromeric effect. Fourth one is electromeric effect. Okay, now in this one, if you see means, sir, so what is mean by the inductive effect? What is mean by inductive effect? One by one, if you see clearly, Mahia. Okay, and you can see the application also based on that one. Sometimes they're asking the questions here. Okay, and first one, inductive effect. Inductive effect. Inductive effect. So, what is mean by the inductive effect? How are we going to represent the inductive effect? First of all, before going to the inductive effect, what is mean by the polar molecule? Polar molecule and non-polar molecule. Okay, or we can call as a polar covalent bond and non-polar covalent bond. What is mean by the polar covalent bond? The next. What is mean by polar covalent bond? Sir, I have no idea. Samita? Polar covalent bond, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sir, polar covalent bond is basically when carbon is attached to any other functional group. Carbon and between the carbon and the functional group, there is a partial positive charge and a partial negative charge. The charge between them is the polar effect. Very good. Yes. But simply, that is correct only here, you are telling that. Okay. Simply what we can call means here, actually covalent bond is present in between two different, uh, in between two non-metals. Okay. So covalent bond is present in between two non-metals. Okay. Here, Based on the elements, again we have a two types of the covalent bonds, polar covalent bond and non-polar covalent bond. For example, if the covalent bond is present in between two identical atoms, means that we can call as a non-polar covalent bond. Okay, that we can call as a non-polar covalent bond. Simply how we can define as a non-polar covalent bond means the covalent bond which is present in between two identical atoms is called as a non-polar covalent bond. Okay. And what is the another one means here? If the HF it is there. If the covalent bond is present in between two different atoms. Okay. If the covalent bond is present in between two different atoms is called as a polar covalent bond. Polar Covalent bond. If the bond is present in between two different atoms, is called as a polar covalent bond. If the covalent bond is present in between two identical atoms, means that we can call as a non-polar covalent bond. Now, what I am telling that means, if you take the polar molecule, okay, if you take as a polar molecule, what is meant polar molecule means the covalent bond is present in between two identical atoms. For example, now I am giving as some example here, CH three bond. CH2 bond, CH2 bond, and CL it is there. Either the given molecule is polar molecule or non-polar molecule. Either the given molecule is polar molecule or non-polar molecule. Anyone of you? Aditi, Samita, Sai Akshit. Either the given molecule is... It's a polar molecule. 
Very good. It is a polar molecule. Sir, have you telling me the given molecule is a polar molecule means last one you can check it out, sir. The covalent bond is present between the carbon and chlorine atom. Okay. If the covalent bond is present between the two different atoms, with that we can call as a polar covalent bond. And the given molecule is called as a polar molecule. Okay. And one more question. What is mean by the electronegativity? What is mean by electronegativity? Sir, so, electronegativity is nothing but the tendency of giving of electrons towards itself is called as an electronegativity. So, what is the electronegativity means here? Electronegativity is nothing but is the tendency of gaining of shared pair of electrons towards itself is called as an electronegativity. If you see whole periodic table, which elements are highly electronegative means halogens are highly electronegative. Okay, now in this one, either if you compare the carbon and chlorine, if you compare the carbon and chlorine, which one is a more electronegative atom? We compare with the carbon and chlorine, which one is a more electronic tumor? Chlorine. chlorine is a more electronic atom. Okay, so when, let us see, when the chlorine is highly electronic atom, means chlorine, it abstract the electrons. When it abstract the electrons, means electrons are shifted towards the chlorine. That time, chlorine it gets as a partial negative charge. Okay, chlorine it as a partial negative charge. And the carbon it gets as a partial positive charge. Sir, how it is getting as a partial positive charge? Partial positive charge means this carbon is donating the electrons to the chlorine. That time it becomes as an electron deficient. Whenever it becomes as an electron deficient, means it becomes as a positive charge. Okay, so to make it as a stabilizer, to stabilize this carbon atom, neighboring carbon atom is donating the electrons. If it is donates the electrons, means this also will get as a partial positive charge. Again, to stabilize this carbon atom, this also donates the partial positive charge. You see, this is also donates the electrons. If this is also donates the electrons, means this also get as a partial positive charge. So when the so sigma electrons are shifted either the side, it generates the partial positive charge and partial negative charge. Okay, so generation of the partial positive charge and generation of the partial negative charge by the shifting of the sigma electrons is called as a inductive effect. Okay, so inductive effect can be observed in a polar molecule. Sir, how we can define the inductive effect means here in an organic in an organic molecule or in a polar molecule, sigma electrons are shifted towards to the more electronegative atom to generate partial positive charge and partial negative charge is called as an inductive effect. Now you got the clarity, all of you. What is the inductive effect means here? In a polar molecule, okay, so sigma electrons are shifted towards to the more electronegative atom to generate partial positive charge and partial negative charge is called as an inductive effect. Inductive effect is a permanent effect. Inductive effect is here, permanent effect. It is a permanent effect, okay. And inductive effect is applicable up to four carbon atoms only. It is applicable up to four carbon atoms. Okay, four carbon atoms. If the carbon chain length is increases, if the carbon chain length is increases, carbon chain length, carbon chain length is increases, Inductive effect is going to be decreases. Inductive effect decreases. Inductive effect is going to be decreases. Okay. Right, sir. So here, inductive effect can be represented with I symbol. So how they are going to be represented here? Inductive effect can be represented with here. I. How they are going to be represented means inductive effect can be represented with I. Okay, again, inductive effect is classified into two types. How many types of the inductive effect it is that? Again, inductive effect is classified into two types. What are the two types of the inductive effect it is that means here? First one is positive inductive. Very good, ma. 
so positive inductive effect okay second one is called as a negative inductive effect sir so positive inductive effect is causes positive inductive effect is causes due to the presence of due to the presence of positive inductive effect is causes due to the presence of okay so positive inductive effect is causes due to the presence of electron donating groups due to the presence of electron donating groups electron donating groups is any example for the electron donating groups any one of you which they act as electron donating groups sir Which are that as electron donating groups? Sir, alkyl groups. Very good, ma. Alkyl groups are that as electron donating groups. So not only alkyl groups here. If O minus O minus is that as electron donating group. Okay, O minus is that as electron donating group. And COO minus also is that as electron donating group. After that, tertiary alkyl group. tertiary alkyl group tertiary alkyl group after that secondary alkyl group after that secondary alkyl group after that primary alkyl group primary alkyl group okay after that methyl group methyl group also act as electron donating group tritium deuterium last one is here protium so all these are the examples of the electron donating group all these are they causes the positive inductive effect okay and what is the second one means here we have a negative inductive effect negative inductive effect negative inductive effect so which it causes the negative inductive effect means here electron with drawing groups electron with drawing groups electron with drawing groups are groups are cause the negative inductive effect sir so what are the examples of the negative electron with drawing groups here what are the examples of the electron with drawing groups any one of you so which we can consider as electron with drawing groups and what is the strength of the electron with drawing groups So what is the strength means? Let us see, sir. Which we can take means NF three plus NF three plus it acts as a strong electron with the drawing group. After that, NH three plus also it acts as a strong electron with the drawing group. After that, nitro group NO two. After that, cyanide. Okay. So here SO three H also we can write, sir. In between nitro group. and so so3h and no2 after that cn bond CHO bond, CO bond, CO OH bond, CO CL bond, CO NH two bond, F CL BR and I OH OR and C six. H by and H, okay. So all these are the examples of electron with drawing groups, okay. So all these are the examples of electron with drawing groups. So what is meant by the electron with drawing groups means whenever you are going to attach this molecule to the substrate molecule or reactant, it increases the electron density. okay the molecule which decreases the electron density on the particular atom is called as a electron with drawing group okay so inductive effect is classified into how many types sir 
inductive effect is classified into two types what are the two types of the inductive effect it is that so one is the positive inductive effect another one is the negative inductive effect so positive inductive effect is causes due to the presence of electron donating groups and negative inductive effect is causes due to the presence of electron with the donating groups okay so we have to buy had this two orders only okay so based on this one also they are asking some of the questions Yes, ma'am. Sir, how do we know yeah. if it's an electron? If the com, if the group is an electron withdrawing group or electron releasing group. Which one, ma'am? How do we know if it's uh, the compound is an electron withdrawing group or an electron releasing group? So very good, ma'am. Let us see if the carbon chain length. Like, so, for example, we already studied about the stability of the carbocation, stability of the free radicals, and that all. Is it right? Okay. Now, one thing I'll write, ma'am. Here, first of all, uh, we we'll see directly applications. Now, I am going to be explaining the applications of the inductive effect. Applications, applications of inductive effect. Applications of inductive effect. So, inductive effect is it explain stability of carbocations. Stability of carbo. Cations. Okay. In this one, first one I'll explain my here. Stability of the carbocation. So stability of the carbocations. Stability of carbocations. Stability of carbocations is directly proportional to stability of the carbocations is directly proportional to Plus I groups and inversely proportional to minus I groups. So now you understood what is the concept means here. Which concept we have to remember means here. So stability of the carbocations is directly proportional to plus I group and inversely proportional to minus I groups. So first of all, which we can call as a carbocation. What is going to be the carbocation? What is meant by the carbocation? That is my question. First of all, Samita. Instead of only we had seen carbocation, carbon ion, carbonium ion. Also, we can call. Because carbon ion is a carbon which has a positive charge. Very good, ma. So in a car, in a compound, the carbon which is contain the positive charge means that we can call as a carbocation. Okay. In a molecule, if the carbon is contains a negative charge mean that we can call as a carbon ion so now you got the clarity na okay at the same time so while discussing that only so we wrote one statement stability of the carbocation okay in this one tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation secondary carbocation is more stable than primary carbocation we wrote Okay, actually, inductive effect is explained stability of the aliphatic compounds. Okay, it explains stability of the aliphatic compound. Now, I am going to write the structure of tertiary carbocation. Sir, what is the tertiary carbocation means? The positively charged carbon is attaches with the three neighboring carbon atoms is called as a tertiary carbocation. Okay. Now this is the carbon, positively charged carbon. If the positively charged carbon is attached with the three neighboring carbon atoms, is called as a tertiary carbocation. Okay, and secondary carbocation. Sir, what is meant by the secondary carbocation? Means the positively charged carbon atom is attached with two neighboring carbon atoms. Okay, the positively charged carbon is attached with Two neighboring carbon atoms with that we can call as a secondary. This one is the secondary. This one is the tertiary. Okay. Now, what is with the primary means? The carbon positively charged carbon is attaches with the positively charged carbon is attaches with only one neighboring carbon atom is called as a primary. Okay. Now you got the clarity, Samita. We are talking about the carbocations. So positively charged per you. Positively charged ions are we can call as a carbocation. This is the carbocation. This is the carbocation. This is the carbocation. Excluding positively charged carbon atom, the remaining others are we can consider now. Now this carbon is attached with which group? CH three. 
the carbon is attached with the CH3 group. Is CH3 is the electron donating group or electron withdrawing group, Samita? If CH3 donating. donating. So that's why I wrote first I wrote the is why I had given the list means here. First, we have to know which one is the electron donating group first, which one is the electron withdrawing group. My okay. doubt is how do we know which electron withdrawing group or electron? Very, very good, Sama. For that one, we have to remember this order only. We have to buy hard this order. Okay. So I give the some examples now. What is the electron examples of the electron donating group? So which we can consider as electron donating groups means here O minus C O minus tertiary alkyl halide. Okay, secondary alkyl halide, primary alkyl group, CH3, tritium, deuterium, hydrogen. Okay, so this order we have to remember only. If you want to remember this concept means here, so it is very difficult to find out the answer. You got the clarity, Samita? Yes, sir. Okay, and one more thing simply what we can say means here, if electronegativity is less mean they have a tendency to donate the electrons. More electronegative atoms are they have a tendency to gain the electrons. That is also it is there. Now you got the clarity? Right. So according to that one, first if you observe in this one means here. Tertiary carbocation. So I give the stability order. In that stability order, we note as a tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary. Secondary is more stable than primary. So why the tertiary carbocation is more stable? Anishk. Why the tertiary carbocation is more stable? That is my question. Aditi, yes, sir. Why the tertiary carbocation is more stable? So, because the electron uh, releasing it has more electron releasing groups. Very good, ma. Okay, so what are the carbocation is there that it is attached with the more electron releasing groups or electron donating groups? Number of electron donating groups are increases, the stability also is going to be increases. Now, if you see means so this carbon is surrounded by the three electron donating groups. If you observe in this one, it has two electron donating groups, and if you observe in this one, it has a one electron donating group. Number of electron donating groups are increases, the stability also is going to be increases. Now you got the clarity, all of you. Okay. Now I'm going to give one more example. I'm going to give us one more example, sir. What is another example I am giving means here? For example, Samita. So which one is more stable? Or even three different structures. In this one, which one is the more stable? Anish. Had given three structures, sir. Structure one, structure two, structure three. Which structure is more stable? If it is more stable, means then why it is more stable? Aditi, what is the answer? What is the answer, Aditi? Sir, is it uh, one, two, and three? The stability order. Stability or which one is more stable? That is my question. So the first one. First one. Amma, first one is not the correct answer. First one is the primary carbon, primary carbocation. Second one is the secondary carbocation. 
third one is the tertiary carbocation sir how you are telling that this sir, means here sir. ma so how is the third how is the third means here let's see so positive charge is attached to this carbon atom so that means this also it is that that positively charged carbon is attached to here and here here surrounded by the three carbon atom the positively charged carbon is surrounded by the three carbon atom i bring three carbon atoms means that it becomes as a tertiary okay so the positively charged carbon is attached with the two neighboring carbons is becomes as a secondary the positively charged carbon is attached with only one neighboring carbon means that we can call as a primary so number of electron donating groups carbon atoms are they act as electron donating groups number of electron donating groups are increases the stability also is going to be increases so according to that one which one is the more stable means third one is the more stable from first one to third one stability order is going to be increases now you got the clarity all of you so like that some questions are there okay so in tomorrow class we will discuss is that clear so you can check it out some ge or mset